Cruise ship cabins are notoriously small, as are cruise ship balconies. Cruise ship jacuzzis and swimming pools are usually crowded, and you always have to wonder how clean the other people were who are in it before you. Now, imagine a huge, luxurious cruise ship cabin, big enough to throw a party for the people you're cruising with, huge picture windows, and a gigantic balcony with your very own jacuzzi that you don't have to share with anyone. It's on the top floor of the ship with amazing views. And it's got a huge bathroom with a big bathtub plus a separate shower and a dressing room. And the bathroom and dressing room have their own thermostats. So when you go to bed at night, you can keep the main cabin a bit cool to make it more comfortable to sleep, but keep the bathroom and dressing room much warmer so you're comfortable when you wake up in the morning and take your shower. And in a big luxurious suite like this, you don't have to pull the curtains closed, you just have to push a button. Now you'd think that if you ever did find a luxurious cruise ship suite like this, it would be on some huge mega cruise ship, or maybe some brand new state-of-the-art ship that just came out of the shipyard. But surprisingly, this luxurious cruise ship suite is on an 11-year-old ship, the Norwegian Pearl. It's known as the Deluxe Owner Suite. It's pricey as hell. It goes for about eight or nine times the price of the absolute cheapest cabins on the ship, or about six times the price of a normal balcony cabin. But if you can swing the cost, what you get is an amazing, luxurious cruise experience. Better than anything I've found after 39 cruises on five of the biggest cruise lines. And there are a lot more benefits to staying in the deluxe owner suite than just having a huge luxurious room and a big balcony with your own private jacuzzi. Let's say the weather isn't fully cooperating, making things uncomfortable out on your balcony. Or maybe the band is playing out by the pool and ruining the quiet atmosphere you are looking for while laying out on one of your loungers. Well, you also have access to the Haven Courtyard, a fantastic, peaceful place to relax with a very warm swimming pool, a much larger jacuzzi than the one on your private balcony, day beds and loungers to relax on, and a glass dome overhead that can be slid closed during less than perfect weather or opened up when the weather's good. There's also a large sun deck above the courtyard, and only about 60 other VIP guests have the special key card required for access to these areas. The thousands of other passengers on board the ship can't get in, so it's never even close to being crowded. The deluxe owner's suite also comes with the full services of a butler and a concierge. And because you're in one of the four most expensive suites on the ship, they really do go the extra mile to take care of you. The cabin has its own bar, fully stocked with unlimited complimentary Pepsi products, ice, and glassware. And when the butler stopped by on the first day to introduce himself, he asked me what my three favorite liquors were. A short time later, he showed up with a bottle of Malibu rum, a bottle of tequila, and a bottle of vodka, all at no charge. The concierge can get you reservations for shore excursions or any restaurant on the ship, even when all other passengers are told that the restaurant is all booked up. And if you'd rather eat a meal, or all of your meals, in your suite or on your balcony, rather than eating with other people in the restaurant, your butler will be happy to make it happen. Now, if you've ever been on a cruise, especially on a particularly big cruise ship, I'm sure you remember what a cattle call it can be to check in and board on that very first day. But as a suite passenger, you're given special VIP treatment, bypassing all those lines when boarding the ship. Special treatment getting off and on the ship in ports of call, and special treatment disembarking at the end of the cruise. I'm just not used to getting the full VIP treatment on a cruise, especially having a butler bring me anything I want, but wow, did I learn to like it. This is the best day ever. I sure can't afford to cruise this way most of the time, but it was a heck of an experience, and I'm so glad I splurged for this one amazing luxury experience I'll never forget. 
I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching. I've got cruises coming up later this year on Harmony of the Seas and in a Havana suite on Carnival Vista. And next year, I hope to do a Panama Canal cruise, possibly on the brand new Norwegian Bliss. If you subscribe to my YouTube channel, they'll recommend my latest videos to you as soon as I publish them. And if you hit the like button, they'll recommend this video to other people with similar interests to yours.